Clint Eastwood is back with a brand new film called Cry Macho. This one's from Warner Brothers Pictures. It's on HBO Max right now and in theaters. I'm going to let you know if this is one you should mosey on down the trail and watch at your local movie theater or not. Hey everyone, it's the Outlaw John Roca here with a review for you for this brand new film from Clint Eastwood, Cry Macho. Before I get into it, I just want to remind you all to please subscribe to the channel down below. Hit that bell button so you see when we're dropping all the new content here. Also, head on over to Twitch and follow me there, The Outlaw Nation, all one word. Follow or subscribe to me there. And later on, I'll tell you how you can be part of the Patreon here on The Outlaw Nation. Well, this is a film from Clint Eastwood here, 91 years old, coming in as the star of this film, directing it as well and it's from a book by n richard nash who is also one of the screenplay writers along with nick shank nick shank have written a couple of eastwood movies in the past year recently including the mule and grand torino um and this film basically deals with a one-time rodeo star that's who clint eastwood is playing a character named mike milo uh and he's a washed up horse breeder who takes a job to bring a man's young son a home and away from his alcoholic mom on their journey. The horse man finds redemption through teaching the boy what it means to be a good man. This one also stars Dwight Yoakam as the father of the boy. The boy's name is Raphael in the movie, and that is portrayed by actor Eduardo Minette. As I said, Dwight Yoakam playing Howard Pope, that's his dad. We also have a number of actors here, Latino actors and Latina actresses. Fernanda Urijola, who is a Chilean actress, she plays his mom, Lita, and Natalia Traven is in here as Marta, a love interest for Mike Milo when they get to a certain section of the movie. So I'll tell you my overall thoughts on this one. It's an hour and 45 minutes, but I'll tell you this, it's it's an, it's a good attempt, but it's not a great attempt. And certainly if you're a Clint Eastwood fan, you can sit back and enjoy his performance. But you also know, man, he's a little bit long in the tooth for doing movies like this. Uh, there are certain scenarios, certain situations that you just don't buy him getting out of. You don't buy him fighting his way out of at his age. He looks very frail in this movie. And although he does hit the emotional beats in certain moments, and certainly I'm thinking of a beautiful scene between him and young Raphael in the uh, church at night. Um, I thought overall the film feels a little like been there, done that. It also feels a little bit like it's supposed to be this two-person road trip, get to know each other, old man, young kid type of film. But in the end, the moments feel a little bit forced. The uh, situations feel a little too convenient. The way they get out of situations when they get kind of trapped uh, uh, because of uh, outside forces in, on their journey, it just doesn't 100% work. And this is where I feel kind of bad giving this thing, a, a, not a necessarily a great review, but an okay review. Um, as I said, if you're a Clint Eastwood fan, this is one you could certainly watch and like a little bit. But overall, I don't think it has the emotional oomph or power that you're looking to see. You know, it, it, we're a far cry from Million Dollar Baby when Clint can play these roles and carry these roles and still look like he can handle himself against anybody. We're at the frail end of the road here with Mr. Eastwood, and it does not feel like this is something that feels believable. I wonder why he took the lead in the film, in this film rather. He could have directed it, put someone else in the lead, and I think it still could have worked overall but the actresses i want to give a lot of love to the actresses in this movie because they are fantastic both fernanda urijola and uh, natalia traven do fantastic work with their respective uh scenes that they have in the movie fernanda certainly bringing a lot of sexual alcoholic fire and power she's a, a woman of some renown in this uh, in mexico uh, uh she has some kind of renown and power in this uh in in mexico in mexico city uh, but her kid is wild and out on the streets and doing cockfights and doing his own thing. So she's not really able to control him. Uh, and so she has some kind of power here uh, in every scene that she's in that you, that you find just absolutely charming and attractive and interesting. Uh, and then when we get to Natalia Treven, who plays Marta, those scenes with her and Clint Eastwood uh, and the young Eduardo Minette really work. She's uh, she's very much her own woman, very much her own person and uh, still a little soft around the edges when we're having certain moments very clear about what when she starts to have feelings for mike milo what that means you know we've seen that in the trailers so i'm not giving anything away we see her slow dancing with clint eastwood in the trailer but she does fantastic work here and clint as i said clint does his thing are some of the beats a little too like a half a beat late or a little too rushed rather than organically flowing into themselves yes 
But overall, uh, he delivers when he's supposed to deliver. He delivers uh, some good work here. My my one reservation is with Eduardo Minet, who plays uh, Rafael Arafo. He is. I don't think he's up to the task 100%. And I know he's got some credits himself on the Spanish side of things, but I don't think he brings that kind of, I don't know, that extra level of that oomph or, or those layers that you really need to see the complexity of a kid. He doesn't radiate a kid who's been living on the streets. He doesn't radiate that kind of, uh, well, you know, kind of attack you at a moment's notice type of a vibe. He's more like desperately seeking a father figure, desperately seeking someplace to uh, to belong, you know. And so it feels more, a little more softer than you're initially led to believe that this kid is, because we hear from his mom that he's this kind of street kid who's wild and uncontrollable. He doesn't really radiate that, and I think that's a problem here. And he's a li- he's an actor with not a lot of credits. You know, Clint likes to do this with he did it with Gran Torino, did it with the fifteen seventeen to Paris likes to kind of cast these actors that don't have that many credits or don't have any credits in these uh, um, integral parts or lead parts in the film. Uh, and sometimes it works, which I think it worked in Gran Torino. A lot of people I know didn't think it worked in Gran Torino, but I certainly think it did. And in 1517 to Paris, it really didn't work. Uh, and I think here uh, it's it doesn't work 100%. I, it breaks my heart to say that because I, I want to res- support and respect Latino actors and Latino actresses. But uh, or Hispanic actors and Hispanic tr- actresses, but I just don't think Eduardo Minet was able to step up to the plate in the way that you believe. I think he's just miscast in the role. I think another younger actor could have really brought a lot of fire to this role, really pushed Clint, really had a back, some powerful back and forth, some explosive back and forth, some electric back and forth even that would have sold the movie a bit more. And Dwight Yoakam is barely in this thing. He's only in a few scenes and we don't get to see what we've seen before from Dwight when he can really bring it in a role in so many films in the past. So I thought that was a bit of a wasted opportunity. Overall, it's it's a road trip movie, but it's a road trip movie that try that has that is walking uh, a path that has been trod many, many times by other films and done better by other films. And it's unfortunate because I thought this could have been a nice Western, a really good Western with some lessons, uh, you know, uh, especially with Hispanic Heritage Month, having a young Mexican kid, finding a connection with an older white man. This is set in 1980. Having this kind of like connection maybe could have been a nice lesson for us here in 2021. But overall, it doesn't 100 percent work. So I give this thing two and a half cowboy hats, really hoping uh, really, I was really hoping to give it three or four. Uh, a cowboy hats, but sadly I have to give it two and a half. It's just not a hundred percent there. As I said, if you're a Clint Eastwood fan, you might enjoy this, or you might at least think it's worth the watch. But if you're a film fan overall, this is not. This is the one you should probably skip. You're not going to get too much out of it. But I will say this once again: Natalia Treven and Fernando Urejola. If you can cast Latina actresses in your work, look these two ladies up and cast them. They are fantastic in the roles that they do in the movie. So I can't stress that enough. Um, All right, that's it for me. Uh, Let me know what you thought of this review. Let me know what you thought of the movie if you get a chance to watch it in the comments section below. Remember to like this video and share it on your social media. That's how you let people know that, uh, you know, you support stuff that's going on here on the Outlaw Nation channel. And speaking of the channel, please make sure you subscribe to the channel down below and hit that bell button so you see when I'm dropping all the new content that we do here on the Outlaw Nation channel. Also, come on over to Twitch. uh, Follow and subscribe to me there, the Outlaw Nation all one word. And if you want to support what we're doing here in the Outlaw Nation, a great way to do that is to head on over to the Patreon, patreon.com slash John Roca. See the multiple tiers that you've got to subscribe and all the benefits that you get uh, from subscribing on those tiers to help us here growing uh, as we build this Outlaw Nation channel uh, more and more. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at the Roca says, and of course my podcast, the top 10, the cinephiles and the geek buddies all out there for you to enjoy. All right. Y'all take care of yourselves, be well, and I'll talk to you next time with another brand new review here on the Outlaw Nation.